Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my daily routine for IPMAT preparation. Back in 2015, when I was preparing for IPMAT, I used to follow um, certain routines. I had a discipline uh, about how I used to spend my day. So I am going to share that with you, and I hope it will help you in your IPMAT preparation as well. So I had three months in hand to prepare for IPMAT. Uh, I think you almost have the same amount of time. So yeah, I had three months in hand, and I gave it my everything. I used to get up early in the morning. I was an early morning person, and then I used to sit outside in the cool breeze and do maths, quants. Reason being, uh, quants was my weak suit. It was my um, area of improvement, and I knew that I had to focus on quants more. Historically, I had been a very, I had been a weak student at math. So, the early, you know, uh, the early morning hours where I used to feel very energized, very active, I used to utilize them for doing quants. So I used to sit outside uh, in the cool breeze, feeling very fresh and doing questions, solving questions to the best of my speed and abilities. After that, I used to have breakfast, and then the day went by, uh, preparing for IP mat. So there was one thing that I did to make sure that I felt energized. Throughout the day, to make sure I could maintain the momentum, there were a couple of things I used to do. So, every few hours, I used to change my place or method of study. If suppose I'm sitting down solving a few questions, then I would perhaps stand up, start walking, and read some theory. Then after a while, I would go to my whiteboard or blackboard and start doing stuff on that whiteboard. Then after a while, maybe I would go to my mother, involve her somehow, and uh, uh, maybe give her some vocabulary stuff that I had read a day before and uh, ask her to test me. You know, so I used to keep changing my place and method and also subject and topic of study. Every few hours, so that kept me feeling fresh, energized uh, throughout the day, and it did not make me feel me and and it prevented drainage, you know, it uh, mental drainage. It prevented that. So this was what I used to do. Um, something that I would advise you to do is to take breaks in between. That is very very important. Uh, change your posture. You know, take breaks, have some water, keep yourself hydrated. The more uh, it's very important to keep ourselves hydrated because it's directly linked to brain performance. If we do not consume water in sufficient quantities, our retention and memory goes down. So we need to take care of that and take care of our diet as well. Goes without saying. So this is what I would advise you to do. Please do take breaks, exercise, maybe do some stretching in between. Go and take a water break. Set reminders in your phone. Maybe every two hours or one and a half hour, uh, take a break, get up, drink some water, you know, and do this consciously. So putting up alarms or reminders is a good idea. Many of us follow that, so you can implement that. Also, regarding your IPMAT preparation, uh, it is high time that you started giving mocks. So, when I used to prepare for IPMAT, full length mocks helped me a lot. You know, uh, we do read concepts and we practice questions, but the way we attempt the paper matters a lot. How do we choose which questions to do first? How do we choose if we can take a guess or not? There's negative marking. There's time constraint. There's a timer ticking on the top right hand corner of the screen. So, how do we manage all of that? How do we navigate all of that and give our best in those two hours that we have? So, as IPMAT aspirants, these are a few cents that I have for you. If there is anything else, and if there is any particular topic that you would want us to speak about, please do drop your ideas in the comments, and we will be very happy to take it up. Thank you so much, and all the very best.